Hey everyone, welcome back to Bye Bye Bye. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so pumped for today's episode. It's going to be a mini one. We are going to talk about the Classic Ultra Mini by UGG. And as you know, this has been the silhouette of the season when it comes to cozy booties. Everybody's wearing these. These are like the new shorts with UGG boots trend. I know there's some Cali girls out there that are still doing that. Please stop because this is the route you want to be going. So this is awesome because you could wear these with your athleisure looks. So all the girls that are going to Pilates are wearing these shoes, especially with their long rib socks, which I also picked up a pair at UGG. These were 18 bucks. They're so soft and cozy and they are just the perfect height for this silhouette. Like they just look so cute throw on some yoga pants, throw on some comfortable trendy sweats, they look so cool. Every model that's not at a runway show are just like strutting around New York City in these boots. They look really cool. I can't believe I'm even saying that about an Ugg because you know everybody had their Ugg moments but kind of died for a really long time and people were just buying them for their purpose which was for weather reasons because it was actually cold where they lived or because they just wanted a comfortable shoe. This has everything that the original Ugg boot had. It has the water resistant suede material, the sheep wool lining on the sock and on the sides. It also has the very flexible outsole, really everything that your traditional Ugg boot has. Um, it has your little pull tab in the back. When putting these on, because they are lower, the shaft height is three and a half inches. It was a little bit hard the first couple of times I was slipping them on and off, but after a while I noticed that either the lining kind of started getting a little flat in the front or back that I just made it a lot easier to get in and out of the boot. The boot itself just has the right amount of wool in it. It is perfectly comfortable. I bought these in chestnut and I got these at $140. You can also get the exact same style on a platform so it gives you a little bit more height. I believe that's at $150. Um, also a great option. I wanted to keep it safe. This is something where I want to have my fashion moment with but I'm not like totally going to marry that idea. This is going to be more of like a comfort shoe for me in the long run and I know I'm going to use it this winter. I'm probably going to use it next winter too. This is probably going to be my travel shoe. Check them out online or in store. They have a lot of beautiful colors and a lot of great options. This is a must buy. Hold up. I don't want to let anyone down, especially if you're on a budget. I found these awesome Ugg dupes. These are by Bear Paw. They have their own website, their own brand, but just came across them on Amazon. These were only 60 bucks. They are in a color called Hickory. They are so similar to the original Uggs, just looks wise. The only difference is the original is a little bit lighter. This is in chestnut, this is hickory, but it almost just looks like the bear paw style is a little bit more rich in color, a little bit more of a red undertone. Uh, the other difference is of course on the outsole. The outsole is a little bit lower than the inch that you get with the Ugg boot and the shaft height is higher on the bear paw style than on the Ugg. Um, another thing that's a little different is you get a straight top line that just cuts straight across your leg versus the asymmetrical top line that you get on the original style. You know what, like for 60 bucks, it is pretty damn close. I tried it on, I did struggle a lot to put it on. Like I really had to use the pull tab. This is just like very, it's not narrow, it's just overly stuffed with fur, which is a great thing, I'm not complaining. They did not come short in quality. The material is leather. It does have a real wool, like sheep wool lining and sock. It's just like a little bit overly padded because when I put these on, I was almost like, ooh, I'm gonna need a six and a half. I'm a size six, so definitely go up a size. It did feel a little bit narrow as opposed to the original style, just fits perfect. You have room to even wear cozy socks. Um, but you know what? They're pretty freaking similar. These aren't 140, these are 60 bucks. If you just kind of want to get that look, you're definitely going to get this and more with this style. 
Uh, it's, it's awesome that it comes in real leather and it seems to have the same qualities as the original style by being water resistant and by being so warm and cozy. Like I think it will definitely do its justice for that true comfort. Definitely stay with the original Ugg. If not, bump up a size, give it a shot, why not? Um, actually, as I'm talking right now, I can just see all of this like wool just like flying around in front of my face. So that also goes to show in the quality of it, like that wasn't happening when I was talking about the Ugg. But what do you expect? You know, they're almost a hundred dollar difference. They are both worth it. Definitely give them a try. These are both must buys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that I gave you some great feedback on these styles and maybe convinced you to trying out this new high of the classic ultra mini whether you want to spend 140 dollars or 60 bucks they are both must buys so like always we'll catch you next time bye